Hello everyone, uh, I've been asked to make tutorials for a while now, but I uh, haven't got the time. Anyway, uh, one thing people ask me a lot is how I did this. It's pretty simple actually, uh, but I'll show you anyway. Okay, so I'll try to make this tutorial as short as I can. So um, let's create a cube, let's create a cloner, and with the cloner selected, let's create um random effector all right let's uncheck this random effector right now and drag the cube into the cloner set the cube size to 10 by 10 by 10 create a material change its color to something more easy to to see and drag it into the cloner okay now let's create a text let's write down something i'm gonna write it i'm gonna write word great change the font or change the type uh, i'm gonna go for futura standard uh extra bold that's good select uh create an extruder extruder nerves drag and drop the text into the extruder nerves then just press c which is the shortcut for uh, make editable and open up the extra nerve select the cap one bring it outside delete the rest okay now rename this to word and uh, select the cloner select where, where I mean where it says object on the object tab go the mode from linear to object and the cubes just disappear now no problem we're gonna say that uh, the object will be this word so I can hide this for now don't need it so um, okay now again in cloner object let's make the distribution from vertex to volume or no sorry to surface right and I'm gonna change the count which is the number of cubes there you can see that you can see I'm gonna change them to um, like a thousand for a start now maybe uh, 2000 great as you can see my art doesn't look really really good here here and here I'm, I can change the seed to something that I like a little bit like this now it looks better this is just my point of view I mean you can do it whatever you want um, okay now let's activate the random make sure that in the cloner on the effectors tab your random effector is here if it's not there you can just click and drag and it's done let's go to the random and change the, the parameters so um, I'm gonna zero out everything on the position and do this manually I'm gonna like in the z axis maybe 500 whoa yeah looks good looks good and maybe 20 on the x 20 on the y maybe a little bit more more on the y maybe 50 and on the x this is good okay i'm gonna make the random factor change the scale of the of the of the clones as well but I want it to uniform scale and about 0.5 so that the cubes have different sizes and I want it I want the factor to change their rotation as well like so so we get a really good mess of cubes right okay now fun part if you look at it from the top you see like um, not a like a rectangle shape um, on the random effector go to fall off and where it says shape you choose it to sphere sphere okay and it creates a sphere if you move this sphere around you see that uh, the transformation of the effector only happens where the sphere is so if we bring it out the object there's no transformation at all 
Now, these two circles, or these two spheres, if you don't know how it works, I'll, I can uh, tell you right now. Um, inside the red sphere, or the red circles, is where the transformation happens at 100% of strength. Uh, inside of the, the yellow, or until this, this yellow, it, it's where it stops to, to make effect, or to transform. So outside of it, there's no transformation at all. And between, it goes like from 100% to 0% of transformation. So if I scale this down, like so, we will get something more softer than if I change this up. Uh, how can I move this up again? Uh, here, here, on the fall off. Okay, so if I put it at zero, it's like it's inside the, the, the circles, it's 100% transformed, not really good effect, or, I mean, not what we're looking at, or looking for. So, the fall off should be at 100%. Um, I'm going to scale this fall off in this yellow dot right here. You can do it manually here, until it covers all the object all of it great great okay i think this doesn't really make anything mix anything um in this example <clears throat> okay because we want once again we want let's just um turn on strength to zero we want to, this word to be inside of the yellow circles okay strength again at 100 percent what we're gonna animate is this as simple as that and we are we are also going to animate this and this and we'll get our um result our desired result so Uncheck this <coughs> because I only want to add keyframes in the animation. Make sure you have random selected. Um, on the frame zero, I'm gonna add a keyframe, another one on the 90, and we'll move this like around here and then keyframe it. So we have the animation process started. Now I'm gonna animate also the size, as I said before, this. So uh, go to fall off. Remember, this is the fall off. And here, here's the size. So on the zero, I want it like this to cover the um, to cover all the object. And on the nine on the frame ninety in the end, I want it smaller. Okay, so control click again. Right, and it does this. Now I want it I want I want here uh at this point uh I want it like um on this size so I need to change again the the animation on the position like so yes this is what I want great now let's just change the name here to big you'll see why here to big as well i'm gonna select both of them and uh, control and drag rename this small and this small oh sorry I just did something, I don't know what. I just did something that I don't know what it was. No problem at all. Okay, so again, small and small. I'm going to hide this for now. And on the small, I have to make sure that um, the effector that's, that's um, affecting uh, the cloners is not the big, but the small. Okay, for now they're the same. I'm gonna just 
change them right now. So on small, I want the cubes to be smaller. So 50, 50, 50. No, 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 no. 5, 5, 5. Although it was a really, really cool effect. Let me just check it. Looks good. <laughs> no, but this is not what we want. We want this. Small cubes. Okay. Let's go on the effector and change the, the X. I mean the Y. We're going to change the Y. We're going to change everything. We're going to increase everything a little bit. So we get more um, dispersed small cubes. And uh, on the ob on the cloner, I'm going to set the count to a thousand. Okay. This is for us to have this uh, more interesting piece, I think. And let's see what's happening. Cool. Almost done. One last thing. Um, one little less thing. On the big and on the small, on under fall off, fall off function, I'm gonna change it from spline or linear that are the same right now. Spline, you can draw something here. Anyway, I'm gonna change it to inverse, I don't know if inverse square or inverse cubic. Try it out. Um, inverse square, inverse square looks good. So, if you want me to show you how I did the rest, just feel free to ask. Um, this tutorial is supposed to be uh, short, so I won't be showing that right now. Um, feel free to share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.